Hello, this is my latest custom Lego design and build. It is a classic sailboat intended to be a gaff rigged schooner, uh, roughly 40 to 50 foot class in universe. And it is not based on any specific real life boat. I grew up around boats and worked on boats a lot as a, as a kid and just drew inspiration from what I, what I remember and did just a little bit of the Google image searching to make sure that I wasn't massively forgetting anything about boats since I haven't been sailing on uh, classic style boats like this in, in decades. But the design itself was done completely live, mostly on Twitch. And you can still go back and see, depending upon when you're watching this video, you, you may be able to still go back and see the video on demand so you can watch exactly how this came about, see the entire process as it happened organically, as decisions were made, as ideas were attempted and then thrown out. The process started actually with the rigging. I did the masts and the stays, shrouds, and Jacob's ladders first before I even started on the hull, because I felt that that was really, really important for what I personally wanted to see out of this style of boat. I also wanted to specifically use the official Lego pieces for string for the lines. And I used both the short and long versions of the standard strings with studs at the ends, uh, just one stud at either end and didn't change the length of any of those. I just adjusted everything to be able to fit. And then I also, for the Jacob's ladders on the main uh, mast over here, used the, the type of official Lego string with the bars in between to act as handholds and such. And I did not just use one size, one traditional size of, of uh, the, the battle droid arms, the Star Wars battle droid arms to create the spacing there, uh, to get, create the rungs, but I used the smaller, slightly newer arms as well up top, because ideally the whole thing should just look tapered. I wasn't able to get that to look perfect, but it's close enough, at least, certainly. It's a waterline up model. After I did the rigging, I started at the bow, and then from working on the bow, I worked my way down to the waterline itself and then started building that back part way, then shifted back to the, the stern, worked on the transom. I'm actually really happy with the shaping of the transom as, as simple as it is, just for the size and part availability. I think it really captured the, the lines that I wanted to see there. It definitely comes very, very close to what I would remember. Got a little suggestion of a fancy uh, uh, carved wooden nameplate on the back with no name on it, obviously, but you know, it's, it's more the thought that counts. And the overall, the overall finish is, is really what counted. I wanted this to look mm, not one specific way, but I had a bunch of, a bunch of thoughts uh, of, of kind of desires that I wanted to be fulfilled of, of specific mm, feelings of combinations of colors. Uh, proportions. I didn't know exactly what the boat was going to look like when it was done, but I just had certain kind of guiding design principles that were somewhat flexible along the way. I did have to make some compromises because of limitations of parts. It doesn't matter how many parts you have. If you're trying to make something that looks a specific way with a specific color scheme, you will likely come up, come across, come up, come across, across or upon a, a point in the process where you run out of the exact number of the exact color of the exact piece that you need. But with this, I managed to get it done without making any brick link orders for once. Use a smaller piece for the wheel to fit in there. Got some suggestions of fittings and winches and uh, cleats along the sides. Got sheets for each of the main booms, uh, some extra line, got extra headroom for somebody to go down uh, below. That was kind of tricky to figure out the spacing to make that work with not too much in the way of, of gapping going on back there, but it worked out. I got a skylight on top. There is no interior detail. There's barely any room to place interior detail in this at this scale with the need to with my priorities of shaping the hull and the outside and getting it looking the way that I want. Plus, 
once this is done, what are the chances of me ever, even if I did put a ton of detail in there as much as possible, what are the chances of me ever seeing that detail again in life? Zero. Absolutely zero. I'm not going to take this thing apart. I have no desire to take this apart. I did it the way that I wanted to fulfill my needs and desires for a custom, uh, custom sailboat. And it turned out pretty much the way that I liked, even though I didn't know exactly what it was going to be like. The portholes have a little bit of trans blue, trans light blue behind them. So that adds just a little extra character. If you're looking really close, the anchor over here is a very simple custom build. I just broke my jib boom off, but that's okay. I'll put that back. But yeah, I was happy when this kind of, kind of fell, almost fell together for me. But put this back. Uh, again, the rigging was done first and everything had to be just so. It's actually um, tensioned from the, the forestay back to the, the rear, the aftmost stay on, on the main, and then it's tensioned down with the main sheet here as well. So there's, there's actual a little bit of tension in this line. It's kind of keeping everything together, keeping everything taut. I have a few spaces where I can adjust the, the tightness of various lines, but it works out. I'm happy with how it ended up. This is going to live in my marina. I didn't build any sails because I don't need any because it's not going to be out sailing. I don't have any place for it to sail. Again, it was built to a specific pur purpose and accomplished all of my, my main goals. I definitely need to make more custom boats for my small boat marina. And I think probably the majority of them will be, or at least half of them will be motorboats. I've got one custom motorboat that I've made. And this is technically, technically my third custom sailboat. I'd prefer to call it my, my second. Um, one of them was very, very basic, but yeah, I need to do more stuff there until at least half of the berths are populated with custom builds and I have no non-custom builds in the space. And that will be one more checkpoint. That'll be one more thing checked off my list, one more complete area of my city that will have absolutely nothing uh, uh, designed by Lego, nothing designed by anyone but myself. Hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. I, I very much appreciate you stopping by here to see the finished product and even more so if you're able to watch any of the live build over on Twitch. If you want to see more of my custom builds, the vast majority of them, if they are going to be filmed, will be filmed and broadcast live on Twitch. At it's uh, excuse me, twitch.tv slash it's the jang. Check that out. Link in the video description and I'll talk to you again soon.